Hi YouTube. So what am I making today? Well, I'm having a neighbor over for cocktails in a little bit, and I thought I would make Cure Royales. So how do I do that? Well, first, let's start out. With some champagne glasses. Actually, I like to use these most of the time. A little bit bigger, more open. But for Cure Royale, just for the sake of the look, this kind of glass. So, what do we start with first? Well, champagne, or in my case, Prosecco. And this is what we, I should say we, all of us here in the neighborhood that got together in my family, drank for Easter dinner. What's the difference between this and champagne? I won't get in an argument with champagne aficionados. I have a little jar where I save all the corks. It's Italian champagne. France and the Champagne region are the only ones legally able to use the name champagne. So thus, Prosecco. That might not be quite accurate. I think that's fairly close. Now this is a fairly simple drink, but this absolutely has to be one of my favorites. And it's wonderful to kind of have at a dinner party um, because it kind of goes with anything. Maybe not the Cure Royale part, um, but just Prosecco or Champagne by itself. You can serve it with really just about anything. And what I did when I had my dinner this last Sunday, and people said, well, what can I bring? I said, bring a bottle. A Prosecco and people brought their own drinks that they wanted to drink but you know what everybody wound up drinking Prosecco and I just kept filling up the ice bucket with a new bottle of Prosecco now here's a little trick for you if you don't know this already there's gonna be a couple of tricks for you here today instead of filling the bucket full of ice I fill it up about halfway where it needs to be and then I put in ice up to the rest of the way and believe it or not if it's not chilled it chills faster than if you just put the champagne or the Prosecco or the sparkling wine into the straight ice and the other trick and I meant to get this before I'll be right back And you say, well, Annika, I can't drink a whole bottle of Prosecco or Champagne on my own. You don't have to. If you don't finish it, take a silver spoon, put it in the top of the bottle, and put it in your refrigerator. And it will stay fizzy at least two days and part of the third. And then after that, if you don't use it, you could always put just a little piece of foil on the top or a little Champagne cork, wine cork, and use that instead of white wine when you're making something for dinner. So don't throw out the leftover champagne or the Prosecco. Get your little silver spoon. It doesn't have to be silver. It just needs to be a spoon in the top. But these are sterling silver, so that's what I use. So what do you do? This is so easy. Just a little bit, for me, of creme to cassis. You can use chambord if you want, but this is what I prefer. And it's almost gone, just a little. If you like even less, boop, just that much. I like a little more, especially if you have a very dry Prosecco or very dry champagne. If you're really not a fan of those and you like sweeter champagnes and somebody brings you a brute, a little of this, and it'll change it. And another good thing to use in the bottom is the elderflower liqueur. Delicious. Matter of fact, you could use both. So then what do you do? Take your Prosecco or your champagne. Slowly. 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 
I'm going to sample it in a little bit. Not yet. It's lovely. And then you just take a little sliver. of lemon peel, just a little twist. Now, you could certainly do this ahead of time. If you're gonna have a bunch of people in, just do a little prep work ahead of time and have a little bowl and put your little lemon peels in, okay? And that's a Cure Royale. Chin Chin, Slancha, cheers whatever you want to say, wherever you're from. I'm going to stand back and let you see what I'm wearing. It's fuchsia satin. And as you can see, it's laced up here as satin cups. And I'm wearing pantyhose with sandals that are flowered. And there's, guess what? There's fuchsia in there. So, here's to you and a good week. It's not quite five o'clock here. I don't tell anybody. Have a great week and I'll see you again on Thursday. Namaste.